American 11, are you trying to call? The cockpit is not answering their phone. Our number one is in staff, and our five is in staff. I am going to call from Washington. I am in a situation with American 11, a possible hijack. What's going on, Betty? The crap is erratic again. Father, you are erratic. Oh, God. Oh, my God. United 175, New York. We have some problems over here right now. We might have a hijack over here, two of them. Yo, this is Ryan. Uh, on an airplane, that's been hijacked. The thing is so well. I'm looking good. I just want you to know, I absolutely love you. I want you to do good. So happy to find uh, things to my parents and everybody. And I just totally love you. And uh, I'll see you in the future. Hi, what are those people going to do? Oh, all the elevators are blocked out. Oh my god, so both towers are now. Okay, I got an aircraft that's about east of the White House. Crystal City, just north of Crystal City. Just to the north of your town. Yeah, stop all the parchers. United 93, that traffic three is 1 o'clock, 12 miles eastbound 370. Negative contact, we're looking at United 93. Hey. United 93, Cleveland, if you hear the center right then. I got that piece of dark. Keep remaining to be. Tuesday, 9.47 a.m. Hi, baby. I'm, baby, you have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane. I'm calling from the plane. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that I love them very much. And I'm so sorry, babe. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. My fellow citizens, at this hour, American and coalition forces we have, uh, in the early stages of military I believe it is a uh, Boeing 757. Can you see him up there, sir? That's concurred. Uh, it looks like he's rocking his wings. He's rocking back and forth. We're fine, 6865. I'm fine. Stay away from that aircraft. Go north as fast as you can. United 93. Have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. These are down? Yes. Why did he land? He did not land. Oh, he's down? Yes, Biden? somewhere up northeast of Camp David. Are giving crucial support. From the use of naval and air bases, to help with intelligence and logistics, to the deployment of combat units. Every nation in this coalition has chosen to bear the duty and share the honor of serving in our common defense. To all the men and women of the United States Armed Forces now in the world. Peace of a troubled world and the hopes of the people now depend on you. That trust is I'm on the 83rd floor. I'm going to die. No, 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 no. Say you're going to die. Ma'am, 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 say your prayers. Stop. You're going to think positive because you've got to help each other get off the floor. I'm going to die. No, no, no. Saddam Hussein has placed Iraqi troops and equipment in civilian areas, attempting to use innocent men, women, and children as shields for his own military, a final atrocity against his people. I want Americans and all the world to know that coalition forces will make every effort to spare innocent civilians from harm. A campaign on the harsh terrain of a nation as large as California could be longer and more difficult than some predict. And helping Iraqis achieve a united, stable, and free country will require our sustained commitment. We come to Iraq with respect for its citizens, for their great civilization, and for the religious faiths they practice. We have no ambition in Iraq except to remove a threat 
and restore control of that country to its own people. I know that the families of our military are praying that all those who serve will return safely and soon. Millions of Americans are praying with you for the safety of your loved ones and for the protection of the innocent. For your sacrifice, you have the gratitude and respect of the American people. And you can know that our forces will be coming home as soon as their work is done. Our nation enters this conflict reluctantly, yet our purpose is sure. The people of the United States and our friends and allies will not live at the mercy of an outlaw regime that threatens the peace with weapons of mass murder. We will meet that threat now with our Army, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marines so that we do not have to meet it later with armies of firefighters and police and doctors on the streets of our cities. Now that conflict has come, the only way to limit its duration is to apply decisive force. And I assure you, this will not be a campaign of half measures, and we will accept no outcome but victory.